All right, what's up, everybody? Let's take a, a look at another integral. Let's see if we can solve this one. Well, what we want to look at here is maybe make some kind of u substitution. So, you know, whatever we let u equal, the derivative of that needs to be somewhere in the problem. So, you can see here that if I take the derivative of the denominator, I'm not going to get anything close to the numerator. Or if I let the, or if I take the derivative of the numerator, I'm not going to get the denominator. So somehow I need to, to get it to where, you know, that's going to happen. So if I, I see this sine x here, and I see this cosine, but the problem I have is this is uh, this sine x. That's just x, but up here with cosine, I got 2x. You see that? I've got 2x. So, so how am I going to, well, what am I going to do? I, I need to maybe, maybe get rid of secant. Okay, because the derivative of sine is cosine, but my problem is the angles. So I do need I do need a 2x here. So maybe what I could do is if I write this as secant x cosine 2x over sine x plus secant x. And do you remember your your trig identities where it says sine 2x is equal to 2? Well, let's, let's write the sine term first. It doesn't matter, but let's write sine x cosine x, right? So right here, if I could get 2 sine x cosine x, I could change that to sine 2x. You see that? And then also, so, well, before we get to that, so so what I would actually need to do is multiply by 2 cosine x. And I would have to do it to the numerator and denominator. So, so let's do that. Let's multiply by 2 cosine x over 2 cosine x. So that's going to get this, see when I distribute, that's going to get this term here to be 2 sine x cosine x, which I can rewrite as sine of 2x. All right. And then the other good thing about this, what, what else does that do? Let me go ahead and put the dx there. What else does it do? Well, cosine times secant is what? That's 1, right? Because remember, secant is 1 over cosine, right? And then if I'm multiplying that, see this secant here, that's 1 over cosine. And if I multiply by cosine, well, that just that cancels out. And then same thing when I multiply it to this term. So I think that's going to that's gonna do quite a bit for us there. So that's going to give us the integral of 2 cosine 2x over 2 sine x cosine x plus 2 dx. Because see, 2 cosine x times secant x is just 2. All right. All right. So what do we do now? Well, this is equal to what? 2 cosine 2x over, now this is what, sine 2x plus 2. All right, so now let's make our u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal, let me do that in a different color. So I'm going to let u equal sine 2x plus 2, so du well, what's the derivative of what's the derivative of u? Well, derivative of sine is cosine, right? T 
times the derivative of what we're taking the sine of, which is 2, and then the derivative of 2 is just 0 dx. Whoop. I left my dx off right here, didn't I? All right, so look at this. I've got my numerator right here. You see that? 2 cosine 2x two dx, 2 cosine 2x two dx. So now I can make the substitution. So in the place of u, I'm going to put sine 2 it. Well, in the place of sine 2x plus 2, I'm going to put u. And then there's, that's over 1. And then this is what? See all of this right here? All of that right there, that's what? That's du. See that? And then this is just what? Natural log absolute value of u plus c, which is equal to natural log absolute value, and u is sine 2x plus 2 plus c. And there's your answer. All right. So what what you need to think about when you're doing integrals is you know most of the time the problems that you're going to be working they're not going to look anything like the formulas that you know how to integrate you know your power rule and all that stuff so a lot of times what you're going to have to do you're going to have to rewrite these things you're going to have to think outside of the box a little bit to try to to try to work some of these you know you, know, you just got to, you know, you may try something on this first. If it doesn't work, you're going to have to erase it and try it again. Okay? And the more you practice these things, the better you'll get at them. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, you know how to work it now. So hopefully it helped. And, you know, hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how to work some other ones. You know, that are a little more complicated. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.